Hi. Kvyen Mouse here. And this is vlog number three. After trying to fit as many activities as possible in just a few hours in Milan, we decided to visit a country we didn't know almost anything about. Albania. <laughs> exactly. Before telling you how that went for us, make sure you follow Kiwi.com because we're so grateful to work with such a creative team. Mm -hmm. All the travel hackers are doing a great job on making content all around the world, so don't miss that. Don't miss it. So how do we get to Albania? Well, we use the Nomad feature, which helped us find the cheapest tickets out there. And how can we learn about the country in a better way than listening to what locals have to say about it? Why hear it from us when you can hear it from the people themselves? The nature, the food, uh, the ease of life, I suppose. It's a really tough one. I don't believe I have one specifically, but just the quality of the food, the way the food is grown and the way it tastes. I guess it's very similar to most other East European Balkan countries. The tradition, I mean, there's not a specific tradition, it's more like people are more uh, family-oriented. Okay. And uh, the way that they socialize with each other, friendships are a little bit more genuine, I suppose. Three words, okay. <laughs> That's a... I can think of two words. Okay. <laughs> uh, basically, well, I mean, Albanians are, we're mountain people, let's put it this way. Definitely uh, the mountains, I think. I mean, the beaches are nice, depending on where you go, but they're very similar to most other places in the Balkans. But the mountains here are, I think, better than most other places in the Balkans. And of course, there's the historical cities. Jurakastra, I think, is one of my favorite. You know, yeah, it's a little bit of a historical aspect to it as well. So what has Albania to offer? Well, cheap accommodations. We paid 25 euros for a whole night. That's still one finger. Uh, and it was a whole apartment, we had a nice kitchen, a washing machine, uh, a market right around the corner. It was very helpful because we had a kitchen, mm -hmm. so we had the opportunity to cook our own food, which saves a lot of money. Beautiful views! Toronto's fresh cone of paint boasts luxury, and it hides its ancient Illyrian past. Number three is great food and great coffee. All for a good price. Uh, and we have to mention that we paid everything with our Visa card. It's the safest and most reliable option while traveling, and it's used by over 200 countries, over 100 million merchants use it, and you can't really go anywhere without finding someone you that accepts Visa card. It's very, very useful. Our next stop is Southeast Asia, so stay tuned with Kiwi.com and the World Travel Hackers to see where we go next. Peace, Peace and love! love. Bye! Bye. <laughs> <laughs> we say it like louder and louder every time. <laughs> Peace and love! Bye! Bye! Bye. Should be fun.